Hi engineering janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we will be understanding about implementation of queues. We will understand its code implementation and this is another video in the free DSA series that we are building for you so that you thrive high in your career. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in deep. So this is the basic code and we will see subsequent code as well. But for now, let's have a quick recap that if this is a queue, then from front happens the dequeuing or the removal of any element would happen from front. The addition of element would happen from rear. Fine, there are two pointers, front and rear. Fine, so rear is also another pointer. Front and rear are two pointers. Now, if there are 10, 11, 12, these elements here, and I add one more element, so from rear it would enter 13, and rear would point out here, finally and then front would point out somewhere here fine it is like that by principle in queues it is followed that whenever front and rear are equal we consider that the queue is empty as simple as that okay so let's understand the code implementation of it fine we are implementing it using arrays so what i do is i declare an array pointer basically dynamic way of allocating memory to array fine i declare a class q in that i declare one array i declare a front pointer front pt i declare a rear pointer rear pt now these are integer variables there are these are not pointers i am just saying pointers because i have written them front pt fine you consider them integer variables only so this is integer variable front pt this is rear pt integer variable then another integer variable which is size and there I'll be declaring the size of array, fine. So then I create a constructor in which I declare the size, humongously large size, fine. And I assign this size to the array. Then front PT and rear PT are set to zero, fine. Now when I set them to zero, I'll go ahead. And every time something enters the Q, rear pointer should be incremented either you increment it and then add or you add and then increment there are two ways fine so here first of all you have to check whether the queue is empty or not fine so if it is empty is empty function i'm writing if it is empty if front pointer equal to equal to rear pointer what i'm saying is if somewhere or the other this is front fine and here only rear is pointing then it is empty queue or be it here, be it here, rear is pointing here, front is pointing here and there is no element inside, then it is empty, fine. By principle, we follow that whenever front and rear pointer of any queue are equal, then the queue is empty. I will explain you how this happens, I will go ahead and explain you how this happens, fine. So right now, if front pointer is equal to rear pointer or front pt is equal to rear pt then return true that the queue is empty else return false simple function no rocket science now when i come to nq function i give some integer variable data for example i give 5 as an element which should be entered if rear pt equal to equal to size now say that i have however declared 5000 5, not 5,000, I guess 50,000 or 5 lakhs, something like that as my size. I have declared something like that as 5, 5 lakhs, fine. But for now, consider that you had 5 as the size, consider that, fine. In that case, the compartments would have been like this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this would have been 5 somewhere here, which is outside the queue capacity. Now, if rear pointer equals to equals to size, which means here, if rear PT is, if rear PT is pointing here, fine, if it is pointing here, then in this case, Q is full. Why am I saying so? After every addition, I am incrementing rear. So, when addition happens here, at this point, I will increment rear, rear will go outside the queue, it will start pointing at index 5. If 5 is the size, now if the rear pointer is equal to size, in that case, 
you can say q is full if it is not like that all you need to do is wherever rear pointer was pointing you add data to it and then you increment for example what i am saying is farz kijiye ke aapka zero pe rear pointer set tha fine rear pt is set here front pt is also set here fine if you correctly remember we had initialized front pt and rear pt as zero we are implementing this in an array so we have initialized it as zero fine when we initialized both of them at zero in that case both were pointing to index 0 now i want to increment something i told you addition happens and queuing happens from rear end now in that case what i do is at the location of rear pointer i add this data 5 fine or i'll say this data is 15 because 5 is the size so it might confuse so consider that data is 15 fine 15 is the value we want to enter in queue in that case rear pointer wherever it is pointing at that location i'll put this data basically 15 is the data so at this place array of rear pt which is nothing but array of zero isn't it at this location i assign 15 at array of zero i assign 15 so 15 comes here another step is rear pt plus plus which means increment the rear pt so i increment it immediately what i'll do is i'll go ahead and i'll increment this out fine so now this gets incremented here fine this is how n queuing happens say that now i again do the n queue similar process would happen i enter an element 20 here same thing would happen q is not full because rear pointer is right now 1 size is 5 1 is not equal to 5 so this if block wouldn't work you go to the else block at this location you add 20 because 20 is the data now if you correctly see 20 is the data now i add 20 here and i increment this rear pointer i increment it and rear pointer comes here rear pt is incremented now when rear pt is incremented i have incremented the rear pt now what will happen we'll check how dq happens so for dq first of all you need to check if front pt is equal to rear pt fine then return minus 1 basically if q is empty you can also use is empty function here if you want to if that comes out as true you are not dqing you are simply printing that the q is empty but if it is not empty like we have right now rq is not empty in that case what you do is you first of all store whatever value was at the front pt i told you everything every removal will happen from front remember one thing in queues first in first out fine so if you correctly remember front is still pointing at 15 so if i dq if i dq by any chance 15 will get removed first fine so what are we doing here we are first of all storing in this answer variable basically in this integer variable ans i am storing this array of front pt front pt is right now at 0 the value of front pt is 0 so this would be 15 so you have 15 stored in this variable now you set array of front pt is equal to minus 1 so basically you set this value as minus 1 now and then you increment front pt fine so you increment this front pt this front pt gets incremented now if you see in our queue the front element is 20 fine i have dequeued 15 and what will happen further now it will again check if front pt equals to equals to rear pt fine then in that case you set both of them to zero what is it doing i'll explain wait for a while so right now this is not true this if block is not true so we can ignore it and this return answer basically this variable's value would be returned so in short 15 can be returned and you can print this value fine you can clearly show if 
आंसर इज रिटर्न एंड यू प्रिंट आउट फिफ्टीन फाइन और यू प्रिंट आउट लाइक दिस फिफ्टीन इज डी क्यूड फाइन सो डी क्यूंग इज हैपनिंग है फिफ्टीन इज डी क्यूड फाइन सो इफ फिफ्टीन इज डी क्यूड देन वट वट इज हैपनिंग लेट्स अगेन गो बैक टू आर क्यू फ्रंट पी टी इज एट वन रियर पी टी इज एट टू नाउ इन दिस केस इफ आई डी क्यू अगेन वट विल हैपन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट विल चेक दैट वेदर आर क्यू इज एम्प्टी और नॉट आर क्यू इज नॉट एम्प्टी एज सिंपल एज दैट वी आर हैविंग ट्वेंटी इन साइड इट सो इन दैट केस वेन वी आर हैविंग ट्वेंटी इन साइड द क्यू एंड इट इज नॉट एम्प्टी दिस एल्स ब्लॉक विल अगेन फंक्शन राइट सो वेन दिस एक्स ब्लॉक फंक्शन आंसर इज असाइंड ट्वेंटी एज द वैल्यू और ए एन एस वेरिएबल फाइन दिस वेरिएबल इज असाइंड ट्वेंटी एज द वैल्यू देन यू सेट दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेस एज माइनस वन एंड यू इंक्रीमेंट फ्रंट पॉइंटर बिकॉज दैट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप सो यू इंक्रीमेंट फ्रंट पी टी एंड फ्रंट पी टी रीच इज हेयर फाइन फ्रंट पी टी इज इंक्रीमेंट दिस इज ऑल्सो एग्जीक्यूटेड नाउ इफ यू चेक फ्रंट पी टी एंड रियर पी टी वैल्यूज दे आर इक्वल बिकॉज फ्रंट पी टी इज राइट नाउ पॉइंटिंग एट टू फ्रंट पी टी इज इक्वल टू टू रियर पी टी इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू टू सो दिस कंडीशन बिकम्स ट्रू दिस कंडीशन इज ट्रू नाउ इन दिस केस यू नो दैट क्यू इज एम टी बट वेन यू स्टार्ट एडिंग अगैन यू लूज दिस टू एलिमेंट यू लूज दिस पर्टिकुलर साइज दैट यू हैव सेट एज माइनस वन सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज वी नीड टू रीसेट द क्यू सो फॉर रीसेटिंग इट वॉट वी डू इज वी स्टार्ट रीसेटिंग बाय pointing making the rear pt and front pt point back to zero again we set their values zero again fine so it again starts pointing here whenever a new element would come it would replace this minus 1 as simple as that okay so this is how dequeuing happens and if i go further what is front very simple just like top it what will do what it can do is it simply returns this value which is at front pt as simple as that for example just consider that in this case consider that for a while there was a value 15 here and rear pt was pointing here in this case first of all this front function would check if front pt is equal to rear pt if they are not equal to each other then it's fine then q is not empty but if they are equal to each other then q is empty you cannot print any value fine now if you have some value if this if block doesn't function then in the further case what would happen you would return any value that is being pointed out by the front pt fine so array of front pt is basically array of zero because right now front pt is pointing at zero so this is nothing but 15 so 15 would be returned fine as simple as that and this is how queue is simply implemented we'll understand in further videos the advanced topics of queues we'll do some problems on it but right now understand the correct implementation the correctly implemented code of the queue and this is a very simple implementation and this will help you out further so practice this once yourself if there is any doubt tell me in the comment section so that i can solve that for you because top 3 comments might stand a chance to win the prep insta prime subscription for free so do not miss out on that chance and go ahead follow us on these social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update from our side have a wonderful day ahead as i always say keep doing good good comes back to you thank you